So, Fontaine is about to arrive and there's just so many new things that we have to discuss guys. I haven't been able to cover everything on the channel yet but we're getting there. And today in our interesting video, I want to talk about some of the new weapons that are going to be dropping in patch 4.0 to see whether or not they would kind of be worth it for you to grab and start building them because yes, Fontaine would definitely have our new craftable weapon. However, there are going to be new set of battle pass weapon being introduced and we will be covering that in this video now guys if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe as in collaboration with paimon's bargain we're going to be holding a huge giveaway once patch 4.0 arrives and that's going to be a pretty big chance for you to grab a lot of primo gems and save up for the character that you want to pull so be sure to subscribe and join my discord server where the giveaway will be held and with that out of the way guys let's just hop into the video So first off in 4.0 we have our brand new 5 star weapon especially for Linny which is the first great magic. Now I love this bow's design not considering its skills aside its design looks fantastic since black and red ruby combinations is just my style way and through. Now regarding the bow skill what it does is that it has decent base attack with 66.15% crit damage which is on the higher side obviously i think it's only the second best after our aqua simulacra which is around 88 percent passive gives you a 12 percent attack increase and for every party member that is the same element as the wielder you will get 16 32 up to a 48 percent attack increase respectively however if they are of a different element then you will get 4 7 and 10 percent movement speed increase instead so this bow is created for you to be using in a mono comp for the character using this weapon. Generally speaking, you're always going to have a 4% movement speed increase, which is kind of like the worst thing in the game. This is a very, very specific character bow and it's only for linear at this point in time, guys. I can't really recommend it to any of the other. So it's not really universal apart from Lenny. It's either going to be you loving to invest as much into Linny as possible or you just don't get this bow at all which is kind of like a shame because I just love the design so much and guys I would just rather try and grab Aqua Simulacra which is most likely gonna be the weapon runs alongside with this bow and it's infinitely more universal i'd say one of the most universal bow that you can have onto any of the character and it will do well so that's going to be your consideration if you decide to pull on the weapon banners one patch 4.0 arrive next we're going to be touching on the fountain craftable weapon series guys this is interesting because first of all i would say that this weapon series has one of if not the best design out of all the weapon series up until now in terms of free to play guys this is really beautiful just nail it with this design first weapon we'll be looking into the song of stillness our bow you get a huge attack stat increase since you can easily get this to r5 and that's when you get an extra 32 percent damage increase the passive can be easily triggered too by healing the only caveat is that you don't know if your hp have to be lower than your max hp and then get healed for it to be triggered or even when you're at max hp and for example kokomi procs her healing even though healing you at zero will that still be trigger we have to find that out now if it's still trigger then this bow can be absolutely good the only downside would be that if you're using bennett who you know is on most of the team the thing with bennett healing is that if your hp is higher than 70 percent then he won't be healing you so you have to always be under hp percent for him to continuously heal which is something that you want to take note of if you're using this bow running alongside with Bennett but other than that guys love this bow design it has really huge attack start increase definitely one of the best free to play bow out there right now I can guarantee you that next we have the flowing purity which is a catalyst 565 base attack which is on the high side with a bit of extra attack increase on the substats now if you're at r5 then you're given a 16% base elemental damage increase regardless 
regardless of which element you're using. 16% is good guys. It is pretty decent but then you can also have the ability of getting an extra 24% elemental damage increase from what's called the bond of life. Now how this work is that basically doing the math calculation in order for you to get the maximum 24% elemental damage increase at R5 your character technically want to be at a 25k max HP but nonetheless if your character is lower than that the extra elemental damage increase from this weapon is already really good overall it's better than most craftable catalysts out there you have until now and again I would say it can easily be one of the best in terms of free to play options. Tidal Shadow is gonna be a claymore decent base attack with quite high attack secondary stats. Very simple weapon guys all you need to do is be healed and at R5 you're also getting an insane increase in attack number as well. <laughs> Again the third weapon in the craftable series and it's still very very good. If you're not having any other better claymore which I believe that this already is giving you one of the highest attack percentage in terms of free to play weapon you will just go ahead craft this put it on your dps claymore character and it's gonna help you clear out a lot of content next we have the rightful reward which is a poem with hp percentage increase now whenever your water is healed it restore eight energy at r1 so overall i would just have to say a straight up bad poem because we've just got so many good poem at this point especially when this is compared to the favonius lance faf lance just gonna out carry it in so many different ways because faf is just so universal whereas this poem is focused more toward hp increase and regarding poem character the only character who can make the most use of this right now is probably gonna be toma most of the other character won't be wanting any kind of hp increase so yeah currently the worst in the series right now and then we have the sword option which is the finale of the deep again very good base attack with attack substat increase too passive is going to be giving you an extra 24% attack increase and also a maximum of other 300 base attack value increase as well how it's calculated is quite similar to our bow which is mentioned above overall another very solid weapon for you to use guys considering right now free to play four star sword option is quite lacking in terms of the dps side this sword can definitely fill in the gap with an absolutely amazing weapon design really really like it moving on we have the battle pass weapon series first we have the scion of blazing sun which is the bow interesting crit rate start with very good base attack and basically an additional of 28 percent charge attack damage increase to opponent affected by hard seer at R1. Now considering this is going to be a battle pass weapon where you have to pay will it be an upgrade if you try to get it and I would say that generally speaking if you're lacking in bow weapon and you want to get it it'll be good for your character until you get something better since overall the buff is good however the downside is that you're only getting the passive buff onto one enemy and it has a 10 second cooldown which is quite a long time so it's going to be very bad in group situations r5 is going to be giving you like a 56 percent attack increase which would be more worth it but then again you're going to be spending quite a lot of money just to r5 it and it only applies to one enemy so overall not entirely something i would recommend if you were to have to spend your money on next we have this sack jade r1 is going to be giving you a whopping 36.8 percent crit rate with 32 percent hp and 40 em r5 is going to be giving that to a 64% and ATEM. Now this seems like a good number high crit rate with a lot of HP given however here's the thing though currently we don't have anyone that can make use of this I mean if Kokomi were to scale with crit then you would be able to make a DPS Kokomi out of this however right now I can't think of any character that would be able to use this weapon really well maybe later down the line so yeah you're probably not going to be 
getting this weapon. Either way, it's good that we already have something in game in preparation for later character who may be able to make use of this. I don't know how long, but since Fontaine is hydro where there's going to be a lot of HP character, we might be able to get some later on. Next, we have the talking stick, which is a claymore. I don't know who actually decided to name this, but guys, this claymore is downright bad. One of the worst weapon in the game, just have to say it. Base attack is okay, giving you a little bit of crit rate, but the passive is so bad. I don't know why th they want this weapon to have so many conditions in order for it to be activated, and then when it's activated, it's not even that high. So guys, we already have so many better claymore options already. Just don't pay your money and then get this weapon. Unless you're like a collector of weapon or something, then yeah, sure, go ahead. Next, we have our Ballad Poem. R1 gives you a 27.6% crit rate with a 120 EM up to 240 EM at R5. However, you have to have three different elements within the team for it to be trigger. But here's the thing, guys. Most of your team actually have three different elements. Only when you're playing Bloom, Pure Melt Team with only Pyro and Cryo or Vaporize with only Hydro and Pyro, where I say it's quite rare since you usually want an Anemo character there for Shred and more elemental damage increase. So the passive here is actually very easy to trigger, making this poem actually very powerful, especially at R5. Very good additional to the poem series, especially when most of the team nowadays guys play around with EM. After that, we have the Wolf Bang, which is our sword, a pretty decent sword, I would say, mainly being because um, sword weapon series, again, for a four star option, is it really having very good option when it comes to four star? The battle pass option before it wasn't too good. So what it does is that it actually gives you a bit more crit rate of almost 28% crit. At R1, you're getting an extra 16% skill and burst increase with a maximum stack of 8% crit rate increase for either skill and burst whenever they hit the opponent up to four times. Overall, I would say a decent sword option for you to have. The only caveat here is that you want character to be able to have multiple hit with their skills and burst in order to make use of this sword entirely so that will obviously depends on the character you are using and then don't forget guys in the event we're going to be having a new weapon too guys i'm not even going to try to pronounce this word i think it's in french and i don't speak french so now this sword has decent base attack and it's going to be giving you a ton and i would have to say a ton of energy recharge basically going up to a nearly 80% energy recharge increase for you and that's absolutely high with an extra 16% elemental skill crit rate for you at R5. Very good option for you to use if you don't have the Favonia sword ready and we know that since Favonia sword is more like a gacha weapon this is going to be absolutely free to play friendly for most of us which is going to be coming in very handy. So overall I believe that's all of the new weapon coming in patch 4.0 that is a lot guys i would say 10 weapon being added to the game now the most surprising thing for me is the fontaine weapon series it absolutely crush it four out of five weapon is usable in most of the cases you know unless they decided to change some of the stats up until the official release this is before official release so this information can still be changed but i don't think they are going to be changing up so the fontaine series are shaping up to be very very well made for the battle pass series i'd say that it's okay not really that good compared to the fountain series being very well made and free to play friendly so yeah guys you know fountain weapon series all the way and so that should be my saying on the new weapon coming to the game guys i hope that was an enjoyable video for you to watch if you do have any other comment feel free to leave it down in the comment section and i will catch you there now guys if you're still thinking about whichever character you want to be pulling in patch 4.0 then i have a very in-depth video going through that and i'm sure it will be very valuable to you so be sure to click on the video right here again guys if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe as i will be doing a huge giveaway soon and it is a free way to support me i really appreciate you guys staying with me till this part of the video and with that i wish you a super day and i will catch you on my next video